friends, it's me. And today we are watching another Darman video about a woman who is a plumber. Hi, I got a call about a problem with your toilets. I called for a plumber and you're a woman. Honestly, I'm just as surprised as he is. I have never heard of a female plumber. I mean, ladies can choose whatever career path they'd like. This ain't 1927. You could be whatever you want to be. This is ridiculous. I am going to call them up right now and give them a piece of my mind. Who do you going to you send a woman! What you gonna do? Spray for breeze and light a candle and solve my poop problem? No need to call the shop. I actually own the company. Oh. You? You own Joe's Plumbing. What a flex. Yep. <laughs> it's actually short for Joanne. If you call Joe's Plumbing, you get the Joe. Joanne. That's her. I don't go out on service calls often anymore, but everyone else is on a job today and it sounded like you were in a big hurry. Yeah, well, this is false advertising. If I would have known this, I never would have called. The only reason any guy would be mad about this is like, oh, now I feel stupid. I'm a man. I'm supposed to know how to fix these things. But then a woman shows up and she's gonna fix my problem. Oh no, my widow ego crushed. That's how you feel. No, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Look, I don't have any time for this nonsense. Can you please fix the toilet? <laughs> Okay, back to business. Bro can't even fix the toilet. Look, what'd you do? I know he took a doogie the size of Texas. I know he kept wiping and wiping and wiping until there was no more skid marks on the toilet paper. And then when he tried to flush, boom. Like, do you not own a plunger? Like, look, idiot gotta fix it before his wife gets home. I have a potential buyer coming in and I need this handled right away. Oh. Can you do it? Yeah. If somebody's gonna buy your house, just don't show them the bathroom. Is he a realtor? You know, that's like number one rule of being a realtor. Don't dookie in the bathroom. Stop at a gas station or a McDonald's. Think up their bathroom. Not the one that you're going to show to a potential buyer. <laughs> it's not flushing. I don't know what to do. Please, somebody help. Anybody, even a woman. I know what it's like being with somebody who doesn't know how to do anything. All the toilets in the whole house aren't working. All of them? Yeah, I'm sure it's a quick fix. I would do it myself, but I just don't have time to do it today. Okay, if it's a quick fix with all the hoopla of calling somebody and having them come over and, oh, I'm going to call your manager because you're a female and you're going to fix my toilet. In all that time, you could just fix it yourself if it was a quick fix. Also, there's this really cool hack where you can Google your problem and it'll show you a step-by-step -step YouTube video on how to fix it. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. When one toilet goes out, no big deal, easy fix. But when all of them go out, it's usually a sign of a bigger problem in your pipes or the sewer line itself. Save me the theatrics, okay? I'm not gonna fall for it. Fall for what? You're trying to upsell me, huh? Look, <laughs> you're telling me that there's a bigger problem lurking around. Look, I know all the tricks, toots. No tricks, I I'm being serious. I see this all the time. Yep, yep, yep. You know, a man could probably pull off these uh, scare tactics <laughs> with me, but you don't fool me. Look, I don't have time for this. <laughs> Honestly, I don't let anybody pull no tactics with me. That's the thing. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. Like, people always try to upsell me. It's like they think I'm stupid or something. Like, I took my car to the dealership for a flat tire. And then they're like, oh, has this car been an accident? It has this, 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 and this wrong with it. And that's going to be $7,000. I was like, this is literally a brand new car. Y'all are bugging. I ain't paying for none of that. And then they pulled some funny business. I don't know what they pulled. They were like, okay, well, this airbag is out. And then they were like, okay, well, it's going to be like $4,000 to pay for it. And I was just like... Okay, show me proof. I don't know if they did it because the car wasn't like that when I brought it in. Funny business. People are always up to no good. Can't believe everything you hear. Just get my toilets fixed as cheaply and as quickly as possible. I mean, I can probably get them working pretty quick, but if you let this problem fester, Stop. it's only- Stop. You sold me on the whole quickly part. Now, I have to go get ready, so do your business. Well, you shouldn't have done your business. You know, that started this whole mess. Also, if you're selling the house, that's like an inspection problem. If there's something wrong with all the toilets, and that's gonna have to go through inspection, and then you're gonna have to pay for it before they buy it. Aren't you done yet? My buyer's gonna be here in less than a half hour. I'm going as fast as I can. Well, then you gotta like reschedule or something. That sounds like a you problem. Yeah, which is probably half as fast as a man can do, I bet. I promise you, no one can do this as fast as I can. Look, Ooh. just because your daddy financed your whole quarter life crisis doesn't mean you're actually good at your trade. Bro, what? You're the one who hired her. I would've quit right then and there. You know what? You can get somebody else to do it for double the price and twice as long. Bro doesn't even know how to plunge his toilet. How are you gonna tell her how to do her job? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were a plumber too. I just got a text from my buyer. She says she's gonna be here any minute. Are you done yet? Just about. I'm having a hard time getting something I need to reach. Oh, she got a plumber crack too. I might have just shown up wearing that. I want to let you work as long as you want it. Whoa! 
Uh, you know, that's kind of the equivalent of me seeing a plumber's butt crack like, my, my. You got a nice crack there. Bend over a little more. Let me get a better look. That is unacceptable. If you don't mind, I'm just trying to do the job as you asked. Okay, sure. But I'm telling you, you're in the wrong business. You should be a model. This dude is such a freak. Just bonk him on the head. Make him take a little nap while you finish the job. I'm happy doing what I do. Thanks. Can't blame a guy for looking though, right? All I'm saying is you'd be a lot more successful in life if you're taking a job to show off those curves. Ugh, what a creep. When will guys realize saying things about a woman's body is just like creepy and weird? Bro has negative riz. Enough with the harassment, okay? Harassment? Come on, don't be so sensitive. What, a guy can't uh, compliment on a woman's body anymore? No, you can't. Not while I'm here working on a job. Okay, it's demeaning and creepy. Yeah, it's like, that's weird. It's like you can compliment like, oh, that dress looks nice on you. Nah, yeah, let me see the titties. Oh, give me a break. Like it's some big burden if some guy tells you you're hot? You thought that she was bad at her job. I should be a lot more successful if she showed off her body. Where's the compliment? You did not say, damn girl, you heating up the whole entire bathroom. Here, have a Panera lemonade. You don't have the slightest idea the kind of crap that I had to put up through to get to this point in my career. Literally, the crap. Plum deal with a lot of crap. <laughs> From the very first day that I started my apprenticeship, everyone just assumed that I couldn't do the job because I'm some attractive woman. That's why I wear baggy coveralls, okay? To avoid all of these sexist stereotypes and these creepy comments from my customers. <laughs> Will you just calm down? Stop getting so emotional. Where's your client? Shouldn't she be here any minute now? Yeah, you got time to hit on her? I will not calm down. From the moment I walk through this door, all you've done is belittle me and objectify me despite not knowing anything about me or my life. You just assumed that my daddy financed my business earlier because... <laughs> Of course, how else could a woman become a plumber on her own, right? You don't know anything about me because I worked hard from the ground up to build my business by myself. And in the 10 years that has been open, our company has been placed the top business eight years in a row. Whatever you have to tell yourself, sweetheart. Sweetheart? Get him. I know you want to hit him with the wrench. Rose a realtor. You took an online test to get your degree to be able to sell houses. Don't start yelling because it's that time of month. Now, if you're finished telling me how great you are, I need you to pack your stuff and leave before the buyer gets here. Whoa. Tell me you've never had a girlfriend without telling me you've never had a girlfriend. When a guy brings up that, oh, you're angry because it's the time of the month. That's literally the dumbest thing you can say. It's like all those PMS symptoms don't even happen like on your period. They happen like before your period. So which time of month are you referring to? I did this job the way that you asked, okay? The toilets are fixed, but the problem won't be fixed until you deal with the sewer line. Sure, yeah, uh-huh, whatever. I'm serious, okay? These bathrooms are a ticking time bomb, and I don't want to hear a complaint from you in a few days when the whole sewer system buckles. You know, wouldn't it be a shame if the house went kaboom? <laughs> Poop flies everywhere, <laughs> and then it's your problem. Don't worry about it, because I'm going to sell this dump today. Is there a gets what he deserves in the title? No. Mm, I'm waiting for the so you see moment. All right, so now when the new owners find out what the problem is, that's their problem, not mine. Okay, that's terrible. Okay, you need to tell the buyer about this issue. Oh. You're a realtor now. That's not how it works. Like if you're buying a house, you're going to get an inspection. There's like a 30 day inspection period where you bring somebody in, they do an entire thorough inspection of the entire house. I mean, they could say like, oh, I don't want an inspection, but that would be stupid. Why would you do that? And then they check the sewer lines and they'd be like, oh, well, you have a major problem here. It's gonna cost $30,000 to fix. So then they try to work out a deal or the buyer can back out. They're not stuck with the house. It's not as simple as going to 7-Eleven and buying a pack of gum like, oh, here's the dollar give me my gum, there we go. Oh no, there's something wrong with the gum. I don't get my dollar back. That's not how buying a house works. The way I want to operate my business is my business, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, that is the buyers right now. I need you to go out back. I do not want them to see you. But you, you, you do, 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 boom. Boom. <laughs> the help exits that away. Plot twist, Welcome her mom. to your new home. Hi. This is even lovelier than the pictures. Now, Beth, would I ever lie to you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just need to get this. Joanne? Oh, honey, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, how the tables have turned. 
Mother, there are hundreds of other houses for sale, hundreds of other realtors you can use, but this guy. Mom? Oh, gosh. Wait, this, this is the house that you're looking at? Why didn't you tell me I gotta come with you? Oh, honey, I didn't want to bother you. Mom, you don't want this house. I'd be laughing in his face right now. Like, look, stand by in this house. We're leaving. Spit on him, too. Of course you know, Joe. She is the best plumber in the city. Let me just tell you that your daughter does excellent work. No, she does, doesn't she? I mean, she threw me for a loop when she said she wanted to be a plumber, but she's proven me very wrong with her big successes now. And she's doing so well, in fact, she's buying me a house. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Seems like just the Joe that I know, you know, always doing something so giving. <laughs> He's smiling so hard, he about to rip his skin off. You know, it, it's funny. Just a few minutes ago, this man was telling me that I'm too pretty to be a plumber. What? <laughs> well, it wasn't me. I definitely didn't say that. Nah. <laughs> I was joking. Mm. You are joking? So were you also joking when you told me that I couldn't do the job as well as a man? Yeah, that, that was also a joke. <laughs> so funny, right? Yeah. Why aren't they laughing? Did you think I was Whoa. serious? You thought, I was, I, you thought I was serious? I wasn't being serious. I was kidding. You don't want to buy this house, Mama. Okay, there's a problem with the entire sewer line. I'd estimate it's, it's going to run at least 30 k See what I tell you? I know how much a sewer line costs. $30,000. And he wasn't even going to tell you about it. Is that so? Because you never mentioned anything to me about any plumbing problems. I didn't know. I didn't know. Uh-huh. Well, if the way you do business is anything like the way you treated my daughter, I'm not buying anything from you. I mean, Good obviously. Good day. No, 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 no. No, 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 not good day, bad day. Have a bad day in your poo poo caca filled house. Please, 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 let me just explain. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. That's the sound of his $30,000 plumbing job becoming even more expensive. Good luck with that. Oh no, what will I do? So you see, don't be a piece of caca doo doo. Quite simple, really. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and the Make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. And I just released some new merch. We got hoodies, shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.